future doctors? Yes, we know NEET 2020 dates are out and to crack NEET, you know, bio is a backbone. I, Professor Sushil Mishra, in this video will give you perfect planning to score perfect 360. Yes, you heard right. 360 out of 360 in biology. Follow my planning, get best score. Perfect 360 score. So Master Neat at bio for you brings a planning where you will have perfect 360. So biology 360 at Neat 2020. This is our target. So I, Professor Sushil Mishra, will definitely help you to plan it out in such a way that this target that is perfect 360 becomes handy for you. So for perfect 360, what is your study plan? Now remember, we have roughly around 77 days from 10th of May to 25th of July. Now this 77 days, I have divided into four phases, phase one, 10th May to 31st May, total 22 days. Phase two is 1st June to 30th of June, total 30 days. And phase three is 1st July to 25th of July, 25 days. So entire study plan is divided into three phases. In this video, I will be giving you planning for phase one. Now, I have made a success pyramid for NEET. Now remember, for any success, the basis has to be strong. For a pyramid, base has to be strong. Now remember, for NEET 2020, bio is a backbone. So for this backbone, the main topics which are there are unit 3, 5, 6, 7, 9 and 10. Total 23 topics. These are high impact topics. When I say high impact topic means what? As com com uh, compared to the volume of the topic, number of MCQs which had been asked in previous years is definitely very high. So we call it as high impact topic. Definitely this has to be thorough because remember, if they are going to ask challenging question, this is the segment what they will target. Next unit 2 and unit 7 is medium impact topic. Here, we also included a topic called biological classification. So unit 2, 3 topic, unit 7, 3 topic and biological classification make it 7 topics. These are medium impact topic because here content and the MCQs are almost equal equal. Next we go for unit 4, 5 chapters and unit 1, 3 chapter. I know unit 1 has 4 chapter but 1 topic already we have covered. So these are called as low impact topic. Reason as compared to their volume, number of MCQs asked is always less. You can go for analysis of previous year's MCQs. You will find that this unit always has less number of MCQs. So we call it as less impact topic. Now for perfect 360. Now remember biology 360 study plan. For phase one, what is this? Focus on high impact topic. Here we are going to talk only for high impact topics. So daily time input for biology should be around 2 to hours per combination that is total 4 hours. NCRT test book reading we will have to devote around 2 hours and during the test book reading we have to mark important points, make flow chart, list down the examples, list down the factual data, make a chart of them, stick around the study table which will help you. Now next is MCQ solving, previous MCQ which you have already solved, revisions, maintaining of error book. Now remember error book what it is, whenever you solve a question, if it is goes wrong, you have to write it in a book which is called as error book, write all MCQs which had got wrong, write the explanation, write the reason, that becomes your error book. And now finally, analysis of your solved papers. So that you have to devote around two hours. A typical day plan will have one hour target chapter reading, whichever we topic we had planned it out, you have to read. Focus on NCRT, no need to go for anything extra because maximum question what you are going to experience are only from NCRT. So master it NCRT. 
second hour you have to solve around 60 mcq these mcqs can be those which you have already solved then also fine no need to worry about it focus on them and correction solving 60 mcq will hardly take 30 minutes for you but majorly time will go for correction please correct those mcqs third hour Revision of important points. Now remember when you have read the topic, you have highlighted the important points, you have highlighted the important points. Examples, please go through them. Even for the topic which you have completed, revises again and again, it becomes important. Now the fourth hour, you have to maintain your error book, factual data, example, you have to focus on it. So definitely it's going to help you. So these are the four hour study plan. Generally, 4-4 four, four hours for each subject gives you 12 hours so which you can definitely devote your date wise study plan when I talk about. I have made a plan for you so that you don't have to plan it out. Stick to the plan, you get perfect 360. Day 1, organism and population, reading test book, solving MCQs. Day 2, ecosystem. Day 3 is biodiversity and conservation. Day 4, environmental issues. Now remember, these are the topics generally neglected. I always focus on this because what happens here? Majority of the question comes here. They are not challenging questions. Definitely you can score full of them. So first 4 days, you need 10 completed. Day 5, reproduction in organisms. Day 6, sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Day 7 is human reproduction. I know this topic is big, but yes, you have revised it, read it many times, so definitely you can manage. Day 8 is reproductive health. Day 9 is principles of inheritance. And day 10 is molecular inheritance. I know genetic part is crucial and lengthy, and that's why I have given an extra day for it. So, day 9, day 10, and day 11 is for genetic segment. See, on day 11, I have put up a day 1. That means whatever topic you have covered on first day, you have to revise the important points. It will hardly take 15 minutes here. Day 12, cell unit of life along with day 2 topic for revision. I told you whatever important you have done on day 2, revise it on day 12. Day 13, biomolecule plus cell division topic. I have not anything revision for this day because you are covering two topics. On day 14, you are revising digestion and absorption, day 3 topic for revision. Day 15, you are talk, talking about breathing and gases exchange and day 4 topic which you have done for revision. Day 16, body fluid and circulation. Day 17, excretory product. And the day 6 topic for revision. Day 18, locomotion and movement. Day 7 topic for revision. Day 19, neural control and coordination. And day 8 topic for revision. Day 20, chemical coordination and day 9 topic for revision. 21st day you are going to cover biotechnology, principal and application, both the topics here. Yes. So that means you are covering here 9 unit 9. Day 22 you are going to talk about evolution, you are going to revise evolution along with the day 10 topic. So now remember First 10 days topic you had already revised plus you had completed all high impact topic. Definitely your study plan, we are going to revise it again and again. But this topic had covered major chunk of your MCQs, challenging question you will be able to solve. So for today, 